All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I watched a great video last night by Brandon Coyne. I love his channel. And he went into this calculator for Raptorium, minorstat.com slash coin slash RTM to basically calculate what he's getting, what his profits are per day. And so I did that too. And I went, okay, I'm about 26 kilohash as of today, which is uh, 19 January, 2022. Oh, the pull fee actually is 0 0.5. I am on Supernova. Raptorium mining pool. Let's do that and see if that changes anything. Uh, goes up 0.04 cents. And my electricity cost is 0 0.12, approximately. It's probably more, right? Because they get you. They get you in the old monthly bill cycle. About 12 cents per kilowatt hour. And I was surprised. Okay, that's not great it's not terrible if you look at the numbers uh then i'm looking around i go i need to go in scavenge mode what else do i have lying around the house that i can hook up and do just some cpu mining and i i said my god right in front of me i use a macbook pro regrettably a macbook pro from 2016 and i said let me uh go to raptorium let's go to raptorium okay can i mine raptorium on a MacBook and is it worth it? All right, that was the big question. Can you use a Mac to CPU mine Raptorium? All right, so I said, all right, let's just go with my current CPU mining software, which, which is XMRig. Go to XMRig and then you actually have a Mac OS tab to download the latest XMRig executable. And depending on which, uh, which uh, CPU uh, and system you're running on your Mac, you download accordingly the uh, X64 or the ARM64 tarball, and you just uh, unzip that guy, and then you go into the config file, and you set your um, your uh, URL, your stratum address. For me, it's Supernova. You know, you put the port and all that in there, and then you put your wallet information in there as well. And... Uh, so for me, I am running a Mac OS Catalina 10.15.7, MacBook Pro 2016, baby, 2.6. We got a quad core Intel, Core i7, also uh, Intel, right? 16 gigabytes of memory, and it's running a graphics card, which really doesn't matter, of a Radeon Pro 464 gigabyte. For the cost of this MacBook Pro, 3K, back in 2016 what a rip up these things are so fragile i am anti-mac after having macs i will never get another macbook a mac i will not i i find it easier to work on pcs whether you're running linux or windows i much prefer that than running an actual mac the things are so fragile if you look at it it'll break so mine just kind of fell off the side of the couch onto the floor and the whole screen cracked i went oh my god so that was the first, like, why did I waste money on this? Then all of a sudden the battery no longer works, but the computer works when it's plugged in. Then I read that it's a motherboard issue where the battery's fine. It's just the motherboard doesn't recognize the battery or will recognize a charge. I said, great, what a brick. So, I mean, it barely works. I'm able to watch videos and make videos and that's fine. It's a utility. So I'm thinking, let's put this little baby to work and see if it can actually do something for me for once. And mine Raptorium. All right, so we downloaded the XM rig. Let's get rid of this. Kablamo. Get rid of that guy. And let's go find the little screen. So we got XM rig configured, right? Here it is. XM rig is up and running. Uh, just had to go in. They didn't have any batch files. Like when you're running Windows, you set up the Ghost Rider or whatever. You have a command file. This one, I just went right into the config file. And like I said, I set this uh, stratum address here. You just set it down at the bottom of the config file. You just, that's all you do. You, whatever pool you're on, simple as that. You cut and paste, put that in there. And uh, then you put in your wallet address. You'll see it. They have insert wallet address here. And you can use a dot notation. And then after the dot, you put your worker name. So they don't explain that fully in the config file. They should have little idiot steps for me because I went to public school I'm an idiot okay so I have to 
It takes me a couple of minutes to figure things out. I work it out, I work it out, whereas most people get it right away. But I got it, it's up and running. Uh, it did a little calibration at first on the old Intel thing running in this thing. It doesn't feel too hot. I should check the temps. But let me check something over here. When it is running, we are running at, here's a CPU. This is activity monitor. So you can see right at the top, I'm actually streaming, so I'm going OBS, which is recording this video. Uh, but XM Rig is chugging along, baby. So it's killing the CPU. It's taking the most of the uh, cycles, right? All well and good, right? Let's get rid of that. So this has been mining for a little bit. Is it worth it? Is the juice worth the squeeze? I mean, it's easy to set up, it's e easy to kick off, but knowing how fragile Macs are, I'm actually afraid to be running this thing on it because I'm afraid it's gonna fry this thing, this Mac. Uh, I am sorry, based on experience, I'm not a Mac fan anymore. All right, let's go. So we're up in mining, right? And I'm going to the supernova pool. So how is it going? Let's just check it out. All right, we are back up and running. I got the MacBook running XM rig. Got the fan noise in the background, sorry about that. And it went up to 0.04. Look at here, Rocco Taco Mac. And it was at 0.04, now it's at 0.02. I think it's been hovering after a while, 0.01. It just doesn't give you much. I think I earlier said, I said earlier, huh, 0.11, but I really think it's uh, 0 0.01, 0 0.04, 0.05 was the best. Uh, I don't know, I just don't think the juice is worth the squeeze. Mining Raptorium using a MacBook Pro, just not worth it. I just don't, I just don't see it. So yeah, I'm gonna stop this uh, XM rig running on my Mac, because like I said, I think Macs are very fragile on the boards, on the casings, on the displays. Uh, software seems to be fine, but I'm gonna definitely stop this thing just so I can get some more life out of this Mac. But yeah, crypto mining, CPU mining on a MacBook Pro, just not there, not worth it. Don't even waste your time. You can try it like me, but uh, I risk frying my Mac, what's left of it. Yeah, just not great stuff. Not a great, not a great piece of equipment. All right, take care, I'm out. Maybe you're doing it better than I am, but I just basically went to XM Rig, downloaded this as you saw, going to Supernova and 0 0.02, 0 0.05. 05, I think was the best I've saw, I've seen when this thing started, when it started right up, but that's it. Um, looking at this other one, even this Dell laptop is questionable. I might, I might just stop that one as well. It's just, it just, I mean, added up, it's only, if I add those two together, 0.10, I don't know. I just don't see the electricity cost and burning those CPUs on those guys. Is it worth it? I don't think so. I might have to stop it on my Dell and my MacBook. So there we got back up to 0 0.03 from 0 0.01. It was 0 0.04 earlier. Yep. I don't think it's worth it. Let me know what you think. I'm out. Take care. Bye.